Officials in Hawaii are still searching for those who remain unaccounted for following that devastating set of wildfires in Maui. At the same time, they are also trying to keep the state's economy afloat. Hawaii has relied on tourism for decades, but since the fires, unemployment claims are spiking, as our colleague Megan Cerullo reported for CBS Money Watch. Well, earlier this week, Governor Josh Green said that while West Maui is off limits, travelers should come to other parts of the state to help lift up the economy. All of the other areas of Maui, friends, and the rest of Hawaii are safe. They're open. They're available. The mystique and love here, the aloha, is here for you. James Tokiaka joins us now. James Tokiaka joins us now. He serves as the director of the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism for the state of Hawaii. Uh, James, thank you for being here in what is undoubtedly a tough time. First of all, just our condolences for all that Hawaii has been through. We know there's a long rebuilding process in Lahaina and parts of Maui, but we also know that so many Hawaiian businesses, families rely on tourism. What can you tell us about the economic impact? Yeah, thank you very much for um, having me on today. And, you know, the people of Hawaii uh, really appreciate how responsible you and, and your station has been covering our um, disaster here. It, it's devastating. Uh, you know, the, just the economic impact alone is $9 million of revenue per day. The decrease in visitors just to Maui is 4,000 visitors per day. Uh, we've had since the wildfire as of yesterday, 80, 80 canceled flights. Uh, Southwest just announced uh, yesterday on this morning's news that uh, they're going to decrease uh, domestic travel to Hawaii from seven flights per day to four flights per day to Maui. So that's that's a huge impact. Um, you know, I, you you can see what the governor has said, and that's a you know important message to get out there. You know, we've all been working very very hard. He's been working 24/7. We want to make sure that people. Who are watching this program know and understand that the rest of Hawaii is open. Lahaina is closed, West Maui, a portion of West Maui is closed, but the rest of the island and the rest of the state is open. On Wednesday, I was at a town hall meeting um, on Maui, and there were so many businesses that came and shared their stories. And you know, uh, the the losses and the stories are incredible. They're uh, hard. They break my heart. I mean, I was in tears when one of the owners of a restaurant, her name is Leanne Wong. Uh, she owns Papaina uh, Restaurant. I was in tears listening to her story. And, and, you know, instead of crying about it, what she did was she went to the college and got a lot of chef, chefs involved to help cook food for the people who are suffering. And so are these chefs who are there uh, cooking as well. So, you know, that's a big part of the story here is even the people that have been devastated, firefighters, they're still going to work. Um, it's its just an amazing show of support for the community, uh, even though they lost everything that they had. So um, that's the message is Hawaii still here. Maui's uh, noka'oi, Maui's strong. And we want everyone to know there, there have been social media posts from very popular people telling everybody not to come to Hawaii. Uh, that's not the case. Hawaii is open. If you go to every place else in Hawaii, it's as beautiful as it has been, if not better. Um, you mentioned that restaurant owner. What has it been like for small businesses? Because our colleague reported that many of them were already in financially precarious positions coming out of the pandemic and were able to uh, withstand uh, those kind of forces and now have been faced with yet another setback. So what has it been like for those small business owners who rely on tourists? Well, if you, anybody who's ever been to Lahaina knows that it's a very uh, transient town as far as employees are concerned. Employees come, they're in the service industry, they're retail, restaurants, and a lot of people are employed there. So the job loss alone is estimated at 10,000 people. 10,000 people in, in um, that Lahaina, West Maui area. So it's devastating. And I, it's brought a lot of people together because a lot of people who have called me before, I was a state legislator for uh, 16 years, a council member for 10. A lot of the people that called me that were anti-tourists are telling me, we need to get 
Okoles in seats. We need to get people mm. on the island. So, you know, that's that's the, that's the cry from the, the the voices throughout Lahaina. And James, I know that there's a lot of mainlanders who want to help out, who are devastated seeing what has happened there. And, and so many people have parts of their heart in Hawaii. Um, what do you suggest then for people who want to try and help out? Is part of the answer to be a tourist, to come to Hawaii now? Absolutely. Absolutely. So as I mentioned before, uh, people are telling us, because uh, we are part of the Hawaii Tourism Authority, too, that falls under my purview. And I see all the emails that come in that people are wanting to come. And, and what is the answer? So the governor and the mayor want to make sure that it is safe in Lahaina. We're, uh, they're blocking it off with dust spans so people cannot see the um, areas that were devastated. Uh, but police and National Guard are at higher points along the highway so that people don't pull over on the side. So I would say to tourists that are thinking of coming here, please come. But please be respectful of the area. It's not a tourist attraction. It's not something that you should be taking pictures of. And only because there's still a lot of people that have not been found yet. And there are a lot of family members that are going to pass you on the side of the road. And it's very hurtful for them to see um, see that that type of activity going on where they're taking pictures of all of this destruction. I think if they want pictures, your station and many others have ha have enough uh, pictures in the can for them to take a picture of that. So yeah, Take pictures instead be... of, of all of the other beauty that exists in Hawaii. That's right. that's it. And that's what we're doing. Um, you know, we're going to showcase the beauty of Hawaii and everything else on Maui that's open now because none of the other areas got affected. In fact, whether it's Kapalua, uh, Napili, Kaanapali, you know, those areas and those properties have not been affected by the fire. Uh, but the shutdown is because you have to pass through Lahaina to get to those areas. And as soon as we can get those areas safely secured and identify the remains, then um, I know the governor is going to consider what date we open after that. All right, James Tokiaka, our thoughts are certainly with the people of your state. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo.